Okay, today we're going to be looking at threading with Python scripts. And um, for those of you who are unfamiliar with what uh, threading is, basically it allows more than one process in your script to run at a time. So basically think of it like this. Um, normally when you write a script, it goes through each command. You might have some loops in there, but it, if it's looping, it doesn't continue with other commands. So if you need two things running, like timers or whatever, at the same time, you need to thread them, and Python has a thread module that will help you with this. So let's have a quick look at this. Let me silence my phone real quick. And there we go. Okay. Um, so let's let's try writing a little script here. I'm going to say vim, and I'll type in tim.py for uh, time Python script. And we will start it off with our shebang line, usr slash bin forward slash env for environment. Python just telling our operating system that this is a Python script, use the Python interpreter. And then we'll import the time module. And let's just say we want to have two timers going at the same time where one prints a message every second or two seconds and another one prints another message every every three or four seconds. Uh, well, without threading, that's very difficult to do. So let's say we'll create a while loop here. And then we'll say time using the time module that we imported. We'll say sleep. And we'll sleep for one second. And then we'll print first. Um, let's save that and make it executable. So, using change mod plus x and the name of our script. At this point, we can run it by doing dot slash and tim uh, dot py. And you'll see that right now, every second, it will print the word first. And we'll do that until we control C to interrupt it. If we go back and look at our script, that's exactly what it's supposed to do. But let's say we want every second for it to print first and every two seconds for it to print the word um, second. Now you could use some variables in there for something this simple and say, oh, if x equals 1, then do this, if x2 does this, you know. Um, very possible for a simple script like this, but once you start getting more advanced stuff, you're going to really want to be using threading. So let's go ahead and also import the thread module here. And then we will define a function, and we'll call this uh, print underscore t for print time and we'll send two variables to this function one we'll call name and the other one is delay which is how long between uh, the messages that it will print out in seconds as you'll see when we add to here we'll create a while loop we'll say while one and we'll say time oh you know we can just use the, the loop we already have created here to save time, but we do have to indent it. So instead of printing the word first, we're going to print out the variable that we're going to pass to it of name. So, and instead of one second, we'll just put in delay, which will be the other variable here. So what we're going to do is we're going to thread, and we're going to thread this, this function twice, but with different variables. And we'll do that down here. We will use the thread module, which we imported up here. And we will say thread.start underscore new underscore thread. And then inside a pair of parentheses, we'll say print underscore t, which is this function we created right here, comma. And then we're going to pass it some variables, which are the two variables, the name, which is what's going to be printed, and the delay in seconds. So this first one we'll just say first thread, and we'll say comma, and we'll set this to one second for that one, comma, and then we'll close that with the end of parentheses. So that will start one thread, which basically will start that function and loop it continuously, but at the same time it will continue the script. So if there's stuff past it on this point, it will continue doing that while it's doing that loop. And what we're going to do is we're just going to start up another thread. So we'll say uh, thread dot start again underscore new underscore thread. And we're going to run the same function in this case, but obviously you can run other functions uh, if you had other functions. 
and we'll send a message of second thread. This way we can determine the difference between the two threads and instead of waiting one second every loop we will be waiting two seconds. So we'll close up those parentheses and let's quickly look at this. So we're creating a function here that's going to loop and every however many seconds are sent it's going to print whatever message is sent. So we create that function but it's not running yet we have to call it and that's what we're doing with this thread thread right here. We're running the, P, the print t function and we're sending it first thread which is now going to be equal to the variable name and delay is equal to one. So now we will loop and every loop it will sleep for one second because that's what we're passing to it and then we're going to print the message that is the variable name which in this case would be first thread and then while that is looping and that will continue going forever because while is true uh, we are going to uh, run it again but send it different variables so every one second it will print this message here and every two seconds it will print this message here and then not only will it be looping those but it will continue with other things in the script down here so let's actually add another we'll sleep right here we'll say time sleep and we'll say uh, four seconds and then we will print a message hello let's go ahead and save that make it executable oh you know it already is executable because we are still working with the same script we made executable so we don't have to run that again but we'll say dot slash name of our script we'll start running it and after one second it says first print every okay so we got every second it's going to print this message which it does and every two seconds it prints this message but after I think we said four seconds it prints this message and then exit out of the script so this is where the pass statement that we went over in our last tutorial or our previous tutorial uh, is going to come in handy because we don't want the script to exit after printing that hello message let's go back into our script here so as we can see it will be looping and those loops would continue forever as long as the script is running once the script dies it will stop printing those messages and so basically after four seconds it will stop um, so what are we going to do? We're going to create another while loop and this is like our main loop here um, basically if you played with Pi game we do this a lot and it just loops forever uh, until you exit out of it so we're going to have our while loop here and what are we going to do? We're just going to say pass because we don't want it to generate any information we just want the script to continue looping and running those threads until you kill the script using something like control C we will save this script and run it again and now you see every second it prints first thread every two seconds it prints second thread after four seconds it printed hello once because we didn't thread that out it will only run once but as you can see the script does not end because right now we're in that while loop with the pass statement waiting for you to kill a script and those um, threads since they are while one true uh, it will continue until we kill it uh, and using either a kill command from another terminal or in this case we're just going to press control C and that will kill that command so that is very basic very simple threading uh, which is very important when you get into more advanced scripts uh, so I thank you for watching I hope that you have a great day and please visit the links in the description I'll have this uh, this uh, script that we just wrote posted there and I hope that you have a great day